we have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, at this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Out well, here told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your stop here a second. I see something. <laughs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can we not? Track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. <laughs> Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Hey, I said slow and quiet, Arthur. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Come on. You're making it look too obvious. That's okay. Hey! <laughs> 
all they can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Let's go, boy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost Watch her out. husband, her home, everything she Same with Bell and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Hucked me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Next to mine. We don't want him running off. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. Mm -hmm. I showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one that you dumped on the floor there. Come on, don't make me skin both of these. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> oh. 